while, but since it's raining, it's the perfect opportunity to step in here and see what's new. Featuring E.T., Jaws, and Back to the Future. Some great ones that I love. Let's check it out. Featuring everyone's favorite extraterrestrial, it's E.T. Look at these plushes right here. Put them in the front of your bicycle right there. Together we shine. Love those ringer shirts. That's really, really nice. Ooh, E.T., wait a minute. Is this a lounge fly bag with E.T.? Looks like it. Oh, cool, it's E.T. in the, uh, the basket of the bicycle. I love that. They've also got the wallet as well. Super nice. $55 for this ET wallet right here. Ooh, and the Loungefly logo on the back. Then you got these shirts right here. This is super cool. You can actually see ET's home ship right there. Wow, that that I've definitely never seen before. Making your way around, you can see lots of magnets and keychains and mugs. Love them all. They're all so good. Now, of course, this is like the classic look to ET. This, if, if there was like one shirt here, it'd be this one. It's a long sleeve one though. So in Florida, sometimes you don't have the opportunity to wear as many long sleeve shirts. $35 for ET flying away on that bicycle. I love it. And the green light kind of, kind of makes you think that it glows in the dark. I don't think it does, but tough to know for sure. Wow, look at this. $30 for that one right there. And a lot of pins too. Are you looking at these? Wow, very impressive. Very, very cool. Tons of E.T. All right, so Rob is teaching me more about the Tribute Store and the fact that it's basically like a, a movie theater here with those tickets you can see. There's Jaws E.T. and some Reese's that we left behind. And as you walk over here, you can actually see the theaters that are showing right now, basically. So the items that are in the store. All right, Rob, tell us more about uh, what's happening here. Yeah, so like all, everything you see here is like from the movie. So obviously it's not the real things. Right. Like, I don't know, they went to flea markets or um, garage sales, whatever. And like, Elliot plays with the, like that dinosaur in the movie, and you know Viewmaster. I had that as a kid too. It's like a projection Viewmaster. Oh wow! It was just like I, <laughs> I'm embarrassed. My family has this puzzle still, to, <laughs> still, to, oh, still to this day. I love it. I love like, it. There's like Elliot's drawings here. Like we're in Elliot's room, which is so awesome. He wow. loved the Hulk, so there's a Hulk. Uh, blanket. There's a Hulk light switch that works over there. I had never like cool. taken the time to notice all these small yeah. details in this here. Is the family. You know, yeah. This, um, what's your name? Drew Barrymore. I forgot the kid's name. Plays D, Elliot though. D Wallace, Elliot, yeah, yeah, the kid Elliot. So it's a family picture and everything. Wow. It's kind of cool. No, I'd, I'd literally never been taking the time to see all this. this. Car too. <laughs> Did you really? You had. <laughs> he's like you had all these things. It's very similar, but it looks. He even got his little trophy with his name right there. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. So oh yeah. The Magic Eight Ball too. Maybe like Elvis Costello. If you look at the record too, it says the three stars, which is kind of funny. So, oh, wow. eight track player here, built in here. She old Coors logo. But then like, you know. There's the Hulk. There's Speak and Spell over there. Yeah, the Hulk, the Hulk light switch is over there. I'm just gonna dig through here, look for oh, E.T. a little bit. Now, where, I don't know where he is. He's in there somewhere. But it's, uh, I mean, it's, it looks perfect to the movie. Are those, those look like the same? Cause he'd be like right here, right? Yeah, yeah. Right in there. Wow, I had never taken the time to look at these details. All right, now we're moving on to theater number two. Jaws, Donna, Donna. Dun 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 da da da. You know, I never got on that one, the, the ride. I know, I know, I know, I know. I think you told me that. So this this video they showed in the queue of the ride, which is awesome. It hey, robs a wealth of knowledge here. I love it. You look out. There's Amity right there. Wow. The screen, and then there's the. Oh picture. my gosh. And then over here is uh, Larry Vaughn's the mayor of the town. So. Re-elect him or elect him so in the year. This is Chief Brody's business card here, which is kind of cool. Wow. Um, rental agreement. This is the reward to catch the shark. Uh, oh there's just gosh. a lot of cool details here. It's just incredible. All along the walls, the yeah. Ceiling, there's just a ton of stuff. That is unbelievable. These are like the police that they use to lure the shark and they anchor out the joints. Right. Which is kind of cool. Kind of like they wondering kind of like a, a fishing the fog picture. thing. Oh yeah, the fog. Yeah, the fog, that's yeah. Yeah, it's, it sounds like it's bubbling. Wow. And then there's a fishing chain. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, so there's, it's more than just merchandise. Take the time to look at all those small details that you can find. If you're a huge fan of the movies, you can find like memorabilia in here that'll make you just like feel like you have been immersed in the movie, at least partially. I love what they're doing here. My gosh. This is so cool. Wait, what's when, that over there? When I was a kid, they used to have these things where you like you paid money and they would make a like a wax mold. So yeah. A wax mold of Jaws. Oh my gosh. 
Wait, does it, it actually does work though. That's that's the result, that's what you get. Oh my gosh. And then this closes, the wax pours in. It's injected. It pulls out and then this little cutter cuts it and it, it falls down and you get a little souvenir. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I'm tempted by this one, I gotta be honest with you. Seventy dollars for this guy and it's great material, but look it's like deep blue and there's jaws right here and somebody's swimming. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. The ride. Help shark! Uh, well, in the movie, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I have my eyes on this one. I'm gonna buy that. Yeah, the Jaws mug. But this yeah. is—you mentioned then, this yeah, one. This has everything. This has Jaws, ET, and Back to the Future. Wow! It's so all the logos. I think I prefer the material of the other one, but I still love this one. Seventy dollars for that one. Wow! I could picture you in this. Yeah, I can see myself in that for sure. <laughs> it's hot, so what do you take? Here it comes. Oh, look at that! Wow! It's all done. All right, no left feeling it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like a tribute to Quint. Like, it has a, he t it tells a story about how he was on a ship. I, I, for I forget what the ship is, but here is a picture of the ship. His days, his harpoons and stuff like that. Wow. So it's just really cool. Look at these harpoon guns. That's really cool. <laughs> it's the last time you saw a harpoon gun. I don't know Whoa. if I've ever seen a harpoon gun. Wow, that is fantastic. There's like an axe on the wall. There's yeah. like, like girly pictures there. There's like, just like, that's how they killed Jaws. They ate the tank. And right, they, they blew them up. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff. Wow. I love all this. You could spend a while in here just looking at all the pieces of memorabilia. Every time, like, I've been here three, four times and I see something new every time. So. Yeah. I love it. Wow. Theater three. Morty McFly. All right, we're out of time here. Let's check this out. Oh my gosh, it's his amp. No way, we have Morty's amp in here. Oh my gosh, I love all of this. Of the movies listed, this is my favorite by far. Yeah, wow. Okay, I could spend a little bit in here. Whoa, this is so cool. Look at the little wind up car they used. Wow. They were planning to go back. Yeah. Doc makes a smaller right. version of this. And then, unfortunately, this car goes on fire. Right. So. But then it falls off the, yeah, it goes oh, off the there. table. Look. Wait, there's more? Ended, oh. You see the bird on the wall. Oh, right? that's so funny. Oh my, gosh. oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, and there's the uh, where his dad got fired. Yeah. Oh, and the remote two. control. That's two, yeah. The remote control. Yeah, that's two, that's right. Save the clock tower. That's the yep. little can. She has in the movie yep. like a replica of it. Wow. There's this is stuff, awesome. There's stuff on the walls, there's stuff on the floor, there's stuff everywhere. Wow. You could so literally these, these are the two these are the two statues for Lions Estate. Wow. I, I was Someone uh, told me they're the actual ones, and I don't know if that is, but they look weathered enough, so. I know Universal Studios Hollywood had them sitting outside forever, so. It's just incredible, and I love the merch here. Look at the back, I, I might need a shirt. This is pretty cool, but I think this one's my favorite. Look at this guy. You can see me in this? Okay, all right, hold on, $70. Again, that great material. Oh my gosh, I am so tempted by that, it's hard to describe. They got Huey Lewis, Power Love. Oh yes, time. oh my gosh. Mr. Sandman's in the movie, a lot of the Johnny B. Goods. Yes. Stuff, so. really wow. Cool. I am loving this. Oh, and of course the dance. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, and there's uh, there's Biff's uh, hoverboard, right? Yeah, the pit bull. Like Can you see that? I get this one. That's a great one too, I love that one. There's, wow. there's the book his dad publishes at the end of the movie, which is awesome. Oh, wow. The replica. This is Biff's cane. There's the, the oh, glasses wow. that Doc has. Like, yeah. I, I didn't even notice Wait, that. are those for sale? Wait a minute, hold on. Because I saw the almanac for sale. Oh, I don't see the, I don't see the glasses, though. No. Oh, that's so cool, though. Like, it's the Twin Pine Mall. He hit, like, the tree, so it, then it, they changed the name to Lone Pine Mall. Oh, that's... Which is bizarre. That, to, to me, those yeah. level of details just unbelievable. Yeah. Really cool. yeah. Manure, he, in, the, in the thing, he lands in manure. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't even see that yet. So there's no Jeez. switch for 11 on this on the air. I love a Biff's automotive yeah, detailing. Absolutely. Now here's some of his beakers. Things are still boiling up here. Part there's of his lab. Here. So there's the plutonium box. Yeah. There's the different diagrams. The, di the different time machines they had in the different Oh rooms. my gosh. Version 1.203. Wow. This is, the, this is the article but struck by lightning how they found out about it. There's different clocks in here, kind of from the movie, which yeah. is kind of, And then look here, Twin Pines Mall on this thing. It's kind of funny. It's so so cool. You can buy a, a guitar signed by Lenny uh, J. Fox. 2003. There's, there's a hoverboard. Wow. The now here is uh, some of Dr. Emmett Brown's like inspiration. There's uh, Sir Isaac Newton, Einstein, Ben Franklin, and Thomas Edison. Wow. Now here's that uh, poster again. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Look at the out of time chocolate malt cupcake. Here's E.T. You see this? E.T. Oh my gosh. That might be the best. And the Jaws cake right there. The chocolate shot. Oh my gosh, the fish bowl. 
this is incredible. The amount of awesome like food that they're doing here is just so cool. I love it. Flux capacitor. Check out this King Kong photo op right here. <laughs> it's so cool. I, mean, I need a photo here. Here inside the tribute store, check that out. We got the uh, the clock tower. That is spectacular. Here from Back to the Future. I love it. We need 1.21 gigawatts. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get to 1985. <laughs> oh my gosh, $35. It's like a, it's a piece of uh, hard plastic wood type of material. Man, that's cool. Uh, I just love it. Now, one of my favorites here, Revenge of the Mummy, is currently closed for refurbishment. Don't worry, it will be back. By the time Maroon 5 is singing Harder to Breathe, you will be able to hold your breath as you ride this ride and see the mummy. Ooh, that's scary. They're so good, love those. Remind me a lot of other bands we've seen and will be seeing soon. Checking out some Harry Potter, part of my favorite part of this park. I'm not sure if it's the favorite, but one of my favorites. There's something special about the way they've done Harry Potter here. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Where you can see Ringrot's Bank right at the end, right over there. And they got Butterbeer which I'm super tempted by. Current posted wait time is 60 minutes for Gringotts. We'll be back, we'll be back to enjoy this attraction and the pile upon pile of gold that this banker is standing on here. Always love that. But look at the buildings. Look at all like slanted to the side and proportional in different ways to make it look like it's taller than it truly is. I've actually never seen the money exchange before. It looks like a store, but there's a teller. Right up there, this is where you can buy some of these uh, great pieces of merchandise right over here. Oh wow, that's very cool. That guy is going to tell her, he's actually kind of creepy. <laughs> he's kind of creepy, but I've never seen him before, I'm telling you. I'm exploring different places of the universe that I've never seen. Okay, off to King's Cross Station to go across to Islands of Adventure and the other side of uh, the Hogwarts area here. Hey there, Hedwig. Oh, he's looking right at us here. Let's see if he'll turn his head as we walk on past. Maybe. He's just looking up. Oh, hey there. There goes the Hogwarts Express making its way out of King's Cross Station with no driver? Uh-oh. We have made it to Hogsmeade. Let's take a look at some of those lines. See how, oh, a Velocicoast is running. Okay, you know, it's my favorite. We'll see. 85 minute wait about noon now here at uh, Hogsmeade. That's all right, we've ridden it many times before and do love it, but I've gone on it before, it's nice. I'm working around here, taking a close look at Hogsmeade, just enjoying the sights being back here at Universal. It's a wonderful feeling, it really is. Not as crowded as I've seen it before though, which is great. Here it is, the Butterbeer, love it, from Universal. We're actually gonna get another one here today, looking forward to it. There we are, at the school itself, Hogwarts. Let's see how long that line is. Hard to imagine, but it looks like the journey into the castle is 15 minutes. I might go on that one. We'll see, I love these attractions. The only issue is you can't bring the camera, so I can't show you when we're on board. That's okay, it's still fun though, it really is. I'm telling you again, I mentioned the other video earlier, don't wait that long once you live in Florida. 15 minutes though, it's a good amount of time. Cheers to you, here we go. The cold is far better than the frozen. <laughs> so, okay, we were just talking about this. We both agree the hot butterbeer is the best, by far. Then the cold, what we're drinking now, then the frozen. For me, it's like it's way too cold. Yeah, it's it's gonna be brain freeze. 100%. I was just gonna say that. It's so cold, it's just gonna be brain freeze instantly. It's so, this is so good though. You definitely, it's worth a stop. I love it, absolutely love it. And great view here, right behind you. I love this attraction, absolutely love it. 35 minute wait to me, that is 100% worth it. We are going on Velocicoaster right now. Oh my gosh, I love it. Velocicoaster, in my opinion, one of the absolute very best coasters, I think, in the area. I'm not kidding around, like Rock and Roller Coaster and Guardians and Flight of Passage, but, and Rise, yes, but this one is unbelievable. Checking out some of our favorite Raptors. There's Blue, right there. It's time to face our fears, to experience an adventure, to hang upside down as we run from these ferocious prehistoric creatures it's Velocicoaster. Hey Blue, how are you? You want me to just uh, reach out and give you a little treat? Here? Okay, okay, all right, okay, all right, I'm leaving. Man, gosh, 
aggressive creature. Ugh. All right, as you know, you can't take anything with me. No phone, no keys, no camera anywhere on this track. Go to the middle of the sector, so I'll you off the ride. I'll let you know if it's as good as I remember. Oh my gosh, just incredible. You're just like screaming. It's like, it's almost like a mini heart attack going on just because it's so intense, but it's so much fun. I love it. There's some locker, there are some roller coasters where you feel like you're coming out of your seat. This is one of them. And if you tense up, you get a different experience than if you have a loose body. They had a loose body. I think it's the amount of time that you're hanging upside down that makes this roller coaster just so intense. And you do feel like you're about to fly out of your seat, but I don't know, I love it. I just can't get enough of this roller coaster. So smooth, so fun. Rob was standing here filming every car that went by. I don't know if he caught us or not, but I'm gonna ask him right now. What'd you think, Rob? You gonna go on it next? Come on now. Now this is notoriously difficult to do, but Rob caught me on VelociCoaster from his phone. I'm gonna show you in this video here so you can actually see me get a close up. It, the reason why it's so hard to do is because you have to time it so well with the person who's going. So I think Rob got like 10 or 15 cars that went by so that he could try and capture me on, on the vehicle. And he caught me. Like it's super easy to tell that it's me. <laughs> that is fantastic. I, I don't think I've seen myself on camera on this ride before. That is a very, very cool effect. I love it. Let's follow the whole ride. Here, here it comes, ready? It's going to launch right from here so you can get a better idea of what the ride is all about. It's really an amazing attraction. I'm gonna kind of talk you through. You get launched right here the, through the paddock and you hear the, veloc the Velociraptors chasing you, right? Then you go over there, up there, amazing. Fly all around. You're basically going through the entire paddock here and you're, uh, checking out these raptors, right? You just loop around there, you, you start to see some of the raptors right about here. Through there you see blue, delta, all those raptors, they start growling at you, you can hear them. Loop back around, you're gonna come on up here. Here you go, looping up and over, and then this is the second launch. Right here, you ready? Three, two, one, you can hear it. There they go, and then they shoot way up in the air. Whoop, there it goes. And that's the, then it becomes the second half of the attraction. It's amazing. Now after VelociCoaster, we're gonna go and experience the Jurassic Park attraction, the river adventure. Again, love all that music from these fantastic films here at Universal. Some lockers over there that you can use, but you're not required to, as long as you don't record the ride, which we learned uh, when we first started going to Universal a couple years ago. Now, Rob, is this one of your favorite attractions? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been on it a long time. Okay. The last two times I was here was refurb, so. That's right, okay. I'm happy. All right. Oh, there you go. It's double Jurassic today. Velocity Coaster and the River Adventure. Now, like all attractions here at Universal, you can't record on board, so I'll let you know how it is after the attraction, and hopefully I'm still relatively dry. Relatively. So, that was a great attraction. Didn't get too wet, which was nice. It was really, really nice. Didn't get too wet. Second row, worked out well. Sure enough, when we were we got stuck for about eh, maybe three minutes, maybe four. Like, that's maximum. And Universal gave us an express pass. I which, love it. God, I mean, that's really nice. I really appreciate that. Again, not stuck for long at all. It's like four minutes. The T Rex didn't really do his thing, he didn't do the whole rah, like as we were going down. But, um, but it's still super nice that they did that. So, another express pass ride. I wonder where, what it works on. So, just uh, for reference, this uh, express pass does not work on the uh, the flyers over here, the one for kids that we couldn't go on anyway. Uh, motorbike Adventure, you already guessed, could have guessed that, and Velocicoaster, and Magical Creatures. So, still a lot of great rides, so we'll see what we're gonna go on now. Gonna use the Express Pass on Skull Island, Reign of Kong. Let's do it. Like all other attractions here, no filming on the ride, but we'll go experience it, I'll let you know how it is. Truly a fantastic attraction, better than I remember. Really, really is, great story. Great effects, you feel like there's dinosaurs all over you about to bite you. There were moments where I was jumping a little bit. That's, I didn't remember it, all the details of it. But uh, I really enjoyed it, really, really did. Kong was larger than life, that's a huge animatronic that I didn't remember. So good, loved it, would definitely do it again. Would highly recommend it, awesome attraction. Now I should note, I had the end seat in the road, doesn't matter which side you're on, right or left. And I gotta tell you, it improved the experience for me on Kong. So if any reason you're on either side of the vehicle, don't have to be in front or back or anything, either side of the vehicle, you'll be in really good shape and I think you'll be able to enjoy it even more. Marvel Superhero Island, we have made it back, checking out some of our favorite Marvel friends. It definitely is unique compared to other parts of the park which feel more updated, like Velocicoaster and Harry Potter, it feels so updated, this feels a little bit out of date, at least to me. Still like it though, still glad it's here. But maybe we'll see an update here, but 
That's a whole legal battle between them and Disney. Oh man, another one of my favorites. It's the amazing adventures of Spider-Man. Let's do it. Definitely one of my favorite projection rides here at Universal Camp Film, as always. Let's go experience it. As great as ever, I love that attraction. I feel like they do an amazing job with it. Love the fire effects. Love the fact that you feel like you're in the air. The fact that you feel like you're in the air, that, the way they make that effect happen is just incredible. Every time it like mystifies me. I think I can figure it out, but I love the mystery to it. Really amazing. Love this one.